In the previous video, we saw a method for estimating the total amount of dust that will accumulate on the Mars rover's solar cells. This method, in general, is called the Riemann sum. Let's start by looking at another example. In 2005, hurricanes Katrina and Rita struck the Gulf of Mexico, causing widespread damage. They caused the collapse of a pipeline service platform that was later struck by the DBL-152 tank barge, which capsized and began spilling oil into the Gulf waters. Scientists predicted that the oil would initially spill out of the tanker very quickly, and then the spill rate would decrease over time. A model for the rate of oil leakage is the formula R of t equals negative 6.56t plus 42, where t is measured in days and R of t is in millions of gallons per day. Cleanup crews began mobilizing resources to contain the spill, but it took them approximately 24 hours to start moving in their equipment. They wanted to know how much oil will spill out of the tanker in that first 24 hours, so they could predict how much area the spill might cover when they begin their work. So our goal is to calculate how much oil has accumulated by the end of the first day, as shown here. Take a moment to think about how you might calculate this. For many people, the first idea is to set t equal to one day, and then use the R of t formula, and plug one day into the formula to get 35.44 millions of gallons per day, and then multiply this by one day to get a total of 35.44 million gallons of oil. And this is a fine estimate, but one thing we know is that over the course of the day, the oil spills slower and slower. If we think about that first estimate, what we did was calculate the rate of spilling right at the end of the first day but the oil was spilling faster at the start of the first day. That is, if we looked at t equals zero, which corresponds to the start of the first day, and used the rate formula and plugged zero in, we'd get 42 million gallons per day. And if we did this rate for one day, we'd get an estimate of 42 million gallons of oil that spilled. Now, we have two reasonable approximations of the total amount of oil that spilled. For each approximation, we made an important assumption when we multiplied the rate by one day, we were assuming that the rate of oil spilling was constant for the entire day. There isn't anything wrong with doing this, but it's a pretty big assumption. I'd like you to think about whether there is a way to get a better estimate of the total amount of oil that is spilled. The way to do this is to split the day up into small intervals. Let's make a table to do this. In the first column of the table, we'll record the elapsed time since the spill started, measured in days. For the second column, we'll record the values of the rate at which the oil spilled. The next thing is to break things down into intervals that are shorter than a day. To do this, you can use values of t that are less than 1. So, for example, let's split the day into 6 intervals, where the first interval will start at time 0 and end at time 1 sixth of a day. The second will start at one-sixth of a day and end at two-sixths of a day, and so on. Next, we need to figure out what the spilling rate is at each of these moments in time. We'll use the rate formula. To find the spilling rate at time zero, we plug zero into the rate formula, and we get a rate of 42 million gallons per day. We can do the same thing for when the time is one-sixth of a day, and would get a rate of 40.9 million gallons per day and we can keep doing this to find the rest of the rates in the table. Let's rewind to the start of the day. Then, we'll add some space to record the lengths of the time intervals. And we'll also add some space to record the amounts of oil that were spilled during each time interval. Thinking about what's happening with the tanker, first we'll approximate the amount of oil that is spilled between time zero and one-sixth of a day. So if you look at the first interval from 0 to 1 sixth of a day, that has a change in time of 1 sixth of a day, as do the rest of the time intervals. To find the amount of oil that was spilled during the first interval, you could use either the rate at the beginning of the interval or at the end. For now, we'll use the rate at the beginning of the interval. Then you have to make an assumption that the rate you're using stays constant for the entire time interval from zero to one-sixth of a day. Once you do that, you can take the amount of change in time of one-sixth of a day and multiply it by the rate at which the oil is spilling, 42 million gallons per day, to get 7 million gallons of oil. 
and then you would repeat this computation. Thinking about the tanker, we'll next approximate the amount of oil that is spilled between time 1 6th and 2 6ths of a day. Then you'll look at the interval from 1 6th to 2 6ths of a day. You'll assume that the rate at t equals 1 6th of a day is constant for the entire interval. That rate is 40.9 million gallons per day, and you'll use this in the computation. The amount of change in time for the interval is 1 6th of a day, so you'd get 6.82 million gallons as your approximation. And you could do this for each interval. You would assume that the rate at the start of each interval is constant for that entire interval. To approximate the amount of oil that spills between 2 sixths and 3 sixths of a day, you'd use 1 sixth of a day multiplied by 39.8 million gallons per day to get 6.63 million gallons. To approximate the amount of oil that spills between 3 sixths and 4 sixths of the day, you'd use 1 sixth of a day multiplied by 38.7 million gallons per day to get 6.45 million gallons. And you do this for the next interval to get 6.37 million gallons, and for the final interval, you'd get 6.08 million gallons. And then you'd add up these amounts of oil that were spilled to get a total of 39.25 million gallons of oil. Now, for each of these computations, we assume that the rate at the beginning of each interval stayed constant for the entire interval. We call this method a left approximation of the total amount of spilled oil because if you look at the timeline at the bottom, we are using the rate that corresponded to the left endpoint of each interval. We also could have used the rate at the end of each interval. For example, in the first time interval, you'd multiply the amount of change in time, one sixth of a day, by the rate at the end of the interval, 40.9 million gallons per day, to get 6.82 million gallons. This would be an estimate for the amount of oil spilled during the first one sixth of a day. Then you'd look at the amount of change in time for the second interval and the rate at the end of the interval and multiply these to get 6.63 million gallons of oil. This would give you an estimate for the amount of oil spilled in the second one-sixth of a day. You'd then repeat this for the next interval to get 6.45 million gallons and the next interval to get 6.27 million gallons and the next interval to get 6.08 million gallons and the final interval to get 5.9 million gallons and then Add these up to get 38.15 million gallons of oil. This would give you a right approximation of the total amount of spilled oil because if you look at the timeline at the bottom of the screen, we're using the rates that corresponded to the right endpoint of each interval. Both of these are approximations of the total amount of spilled oil. We don't have a way of knowing whether one is more accurate than the other. Now, I'll summarize the method that I've described here. Anytime you add up products, you're using what's called a Riemann sum. Riemann sums tell you the total amount of something that will accumulate. In this example, we looked at the total amount of oil that was spilled. To start, you need information about the rate of accumulation of the quantity. In this example, it was in terms of millions of barrels spilled per day. To do this, we looked at values for R of t. We assumed that R of t was constant over each time interval. Then, we multiply the value of r by the amount of change in time to get the amount of oil spilled over the interval, and added up all of these amounts starting at zero days up to one day to get an approximation of the total amount of oil that was spilled. In our example, we got 39.25 million gallons when we used a left sum, but we could have also used a right sum to get another reasonable approximation of the amount of oil that was spilled.